Sorry about that, chat. No. What? Why? Why have I awoken? Uh, hmm. Why? This is the Royal Library in Volsena. How have I come to be here? All my worldly knowledge was sealed within this tome. The spirit of Master Grand Qua is no longer in this realm. Why am I here? Hmm. I cannot feel the presence of the goddess of Mama. Oh no! The witch. She must have awakened. Okay, so I'm gonna repeat it for like the fourth time due to weird OBS issues, including muting my microphone for no reason. We are going to beat the game today. We're gonna give final thoughts. I'm curious what the chat thinks about it. But I'm not gonna lie, I'm definitely feeling very agitated from having not one, but two crashes and also audio issues. So hopefully it remains steady and I'm going to basically purge OBS like next week because I'm, I'm done with the chat. I'm so irritated at it right now compared to some of the older versions where they were stable. And I didn't want to talk about it, but if it if it screws up my setting one more time, chat, I'm gonna st I'm literally gonna stop streaming whenever I'm streaming, and I'm done for the day because I'm so tired of that happening. Seriously, it has crashed more than five times in two weeks. Ridiculous. Get your act together, stream elements. Get your act together, OBS. This is ridiculous. So anyway, that aside, we're gonna go ahead and continue with the post game content where technically we could go and get the final little cactus. I don't know if it matters. I'm not even gonna bother. Let's just move onwards. Yeah, it's just, it's ridiculous. I don't feel like dealing with it. Streaming should not be that much of a hassle. When you've set it up for years, you literally do not touch it for years and suddenly like, you have one update and it screws up everything constantly. It's like, no, 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 I'm done. <laughs> I will purge it. I will get a new application if I need to to stream. I do not want to contend with this every single time I switch scenes. It's absolute madness, chat. I always forget you have to go to the upper left here to go to the library. The dash setting being off by default. What a bad decision. Hmm. This book seems weird. Oh, does, does this, this mean, mean that, that you can, you can see, see my aura? Uh, it's locked! Ah, oh, yes. <clears throat> I was once a great magician. Known as Master Grand Qua, your world is in grave danger, and that danger's name is Annis the Witch. Annis the Witch has been revived. Annis the Witch? <laughs> that name doesn't ring any bells. She's a magic user from the realm of the Mana Goddess. Annas is the reason this world continues to be in peril. Annas intends to open a portal to Mavolia and destroy this world. There is but one way to face such a terrifying force of evil. You must reach the strongest class I ever discovered. Class 4. Class 4? Please, you must find a way to switch to Class 4. And defeat Annas. Save this world from the chaos she brings. So, what do I need to do in order to reach Class 4? In order to reach Class 4, you must obtain a specific item. That item is... The Sage Sphere. The Valor Sphere. The Hope Sphere. Interesting. Hmm. Luck is on your side, as fate would have it. These class items can be found in places important to you, 
Perhaps even kept by people to whom you have a deep connection. I beg of you, you must reach Class 4 to stop Annis and save this world from utter destruction. There we go, chat. So, yep, we're just gonna go get the class items there. We're gonna ignore whatever they're trying to tell us. Welcome, Kurt. Hope you're doing well. We'll get Angela out of the way. The reason I'm thinking, she has so many stat points that aren't used by anything. I might as well get hers first. Because she'll have the more immediate upgrade effect. Then I think we'll go back for, uh, Durin. Fine, I'll go get the treasure chest. I don't think I'm gonna bother getting the class upgrade one. Honestly, it's like, the game is so easy at this point, even on hard mode. I don't, I don't really want it. I thought about it, and I, I definitely changed my mind on it. I definitely like the other upgrades leading to it, but the oops all class strike abilities, I don't really like their class strike abilities that much. I mean, I guess it's more useful if I use their 400% move, but it's like most of the time I just want to save them for bosses. I might even tell our allies to just not use them at all, honestly. Yeah, let's, let's turn them off. I don't want them to accidentally use it. I just don't trust the AI to use this appropriately. Hmm. There's only one person I could ask about this. Come on! I gotta go see my mother. Hope you're doing well, Kirk. So we're gonna ignore basically everybody. as if I have not seen you for a while. Where have you been? Um, Mother, I wanted to ask, do you know anything about the Sage Spear? <gasps> Where did you hear about that, Angela? The Sage Spear is a treasure passed down through the royal bloodline of Altena. I've been better, Kirk, but, but thanks for asking. I fear that the awesome power it once held has all but disappeared over the years. Huh? Its power is gone? <sighs> that means... Yes. It no longer grants the ability to reach Class 4. However, I know of one way to return magic to the sphere. Only one, to be exact. You must triumph in our Magician Kingdom's trial of queenship. There is no other way. But, be warned that none have managed to complete the trial since the Sage Sphere lost its magic. Not even myself. Mother, the trial was too much for you? Yes. I had all but given up recovering the power of the Sage Sphere. Then... I will attempt the trial of queenship, and I promise, I will complete it. Angela, even I could not endure such a trying challenge. I don't care. I have to do this. I need to test my magic. <sighs> Very well. You must return to the Labyrinth of Ice to undertake the trial of queenship. I will ensure the entrance to the trial is open. Thank you, Mother. I promise I will succeed. Angela? Yes? I see such strength in your gaze as I never have before. You have finally come into your own, my daughter. Thank you, Mother. <sighs> I'm off! I think there's just something really awkward about the dialogue. I, I guess them directly referring to the mechanic by name 
I just feel very, it just feels very awkward. Just check out the f impression from it. Like, it's one thing to say, like, you must get these magic items in order to empower up, but they're like, no, you will achieve class four. It just feels so... What is the word I'm looking for? Stilted? Because they don't really reference it in the older dialogue of the game in which they retranslated. Like, it, it is only referenced in the sense that if you go up to the Mana statue, you are given an option to select it, but the characters themselves don't talk about it. So suddenly they're just all obsessed with the class. So I, I guess the class system just exists and they acknowledge it exists. Oh no, to me it just always came across as kind of weird. Like there is that one library book, but I don't remember if that's in the original or if they just added that as supplemental information. I don't fully remember in the same place we were just in. Because the original did talk about like, Grand, like Grand Qua, from what I vaguely remember. I don't know. Just seems really awkward for all the characters to start talking about it, like they've been talking about it the whole time. It's like at best a a cliff note in a book up till this point. Anyway, we're gonna power through. Out of curiosity. <laughs> Love Duran running into the merchant there. See, I'm thinking because Angela has so many points in reserve. We're going to see if her upgrade is any good. I got to go to the left here. Sure. Hey, was this entrance here before? Yeah, breaking character is another good way to frame it. This must be the entrance to the trial of queenship my mother opened for me. Don't worry, mother. I can handle this on my own. <laughs> Let's go! It does take away from the immersion, for sure. I wonder what sort of trial is waiting for you. I don't know. I don't know, but one thing is certain. No matter what happens, I am going to complete this trial. What? I know this will make my mother proud of me. Champ, here's a game design question for you. If you're going to put a full restore, why would you put jars that restore less than the full restore when they're literally within eyesight of each other? What's the purpose of that? That's one thing if these were blue jars. If these were blue jars, this would be the class gauge. But like, but why? Honest question. It's this dungeon in particular does that more than once, which is why I'm like, I'm not really sure who approved it, question mark. Time for her to che cheat in the trial by having other people assist. Anything in here. She's a big filthy cheater chat. So what is the trial of queenship anyway? What? what is that? Everyone, watch out! No good reason, pretty much. Is that me? So the trial of queenship is overcoming yourself? <laughs> Fine, I can do this. It's dark eek, pretty I much. I can be better than myself. <laughs> I can even be better than my mother. Sorry. This is my chance, and I won't let it go to She can be better than herself? Yeah, okay. Is this actually going to be a 1v1 or are we cheating? Oh, I didn't think that would hit me. That's unfortunate. So I have to heal every time I'm struck, which is kind of annoying. It does just enough.
This is gonna take so long, chat. On the plus side, I have effectively infinite mana. Oh, or I'll just tumble and not make it out of the spell. That's cool. That's cool. I'm just gonna shrug on that one. I, I mean, chat's all I dodge rolled. I don't know what else I could have done there. I was in like a slightly too long animation, I guess. Okay, do I have anything to help me with this? Because this is actually a pretty annoying fight. Um, I don't really. <sighs> Whatever. Also, thanks, Magic Armor, for not triggering. Love you, Magic Armor. Yeah, I basically got one shot. I mean, I got clipped into two spells and died. There's not really anything I could do about that. Like, just sometimes, like, the tump. Like, if I'm casting any spells at all, I just can't damage. Which is kind of a bad mechanic, because most that's one of my faster spells. I can't really make it go that much faster. Otherwise, like, what am I gonna do? Melee this character to death? That's gonna take like five years. Case in point. Can you please let me heal? Rude. And almost got punished for my spell cast, which I need to do for damage. She's not a melee build. hit there but magic armor saved me it's FYI some of those hitboxes are a little interesting I'm gonna get hit big time there On the plus side, like, I understand the strategy, it's just more, will I be in a bad position when they cast? That's basically it. It also doesn't help that the camera kind of cloaks where they're targeting sometimes, due to how close the arena is. Which is a choice, I guess. I'm gonna wait a little bit here. Like, that time I wasn't even attacking, I just feel like I got clipped by jank hitbox. Like, what what could I have done differently there? I tumbled. I held forward, I tumbled, I didn't get out of range. This is a very annoying fight. I wonder what sort of trial is waiting for you. Yeah, yeah, shut up. <laughs> shut up, Angela. It's one of those things where it's just like, I know what to do, it's just, I feel like I'm getting clipped by really stupid shit at the moment. Like, just to be frank with you, like, some of those hitboxes don't feel like they're hitting where the radius is. I clearly need to be better than myself, you're right. Like, there, if I take damage, you know, that's my fault, you know? But, like, other times, like, I'm literally tumbling and holding forward, and I still get hit. I don't really get it. I think it's the one where she copies Doppelganger is the one that seems to hit me a lot. Like, Earthquake doesn't matter. That move doesn't matter. It's specifically whatever Doppelganger is. I feel like it hits way bigger than it's supposed to.
I silence her? It's also kind of annoying to have limited healing here. I think I'll be fine. Just getting to not get hit by that stupid doppelganger attack. Case in point. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's just that spell that acts a bit weird. I don't seem to have trouble getting away from the freeze. Maybe it's just the dark attack that has more radius than it should. Fire attack, I don't have pro problems dodging either. It's kind of one of those things where I think if you're not like already full running, you can't get out of it. Which kind of sucks in a spell casting battle where you're stationary. Oh, I'm going to take my damage here. No, actually that time that was easy to get out of. I don't know. Whatever. Oh, she not gonna cast a spell? I think I can cast one more spell here. I'm not gonna cast a spell here. Now I will. I'm gonna take your damage. Oh, okay. Let's heal. I hope this kills. Okay, good. I was <laughs> like, I'm not dodging that again. I guess she's the queen now. So yeah, that was a little awkward. We're not really built for meleeing in that battle at all since we didn't take strength ups. So it's like if I had to melee that, it would take basically about as long as one death reset. Because Left Typhoon does a lot of damage, but it has a really, really long animation. And in that time, I could do literally the same amount of damage with Spell Blasting. And it's not dependent on building the class gauge. Let's go ahead and ignore these enemies. See, I'm hoping that now that she has all these unused points, we're gonna go straight to the class upgrade. We're gonna make sure we get the item. And then we're gonna go back, and I guess we'll go to the Mana Sanctuary. 
<laughs> for, for the first time, we'll go to the statue, because we avoided that last time. We never actually technically revisited the goddess statue. I'm gonna have some words about that day-night cycle chat when we talk about it in the, in the review. They're not gonna be positive ones. I mean, like, the last time I had something this jarring just constantly interrupting me playing gameplay was Castlevania 2 on the NES. What a horrible night to have a curse chat. That's what I'm reminded of there. I'm like, truly, we have gone backwards in terms of mechanics. I mean, don't you, like, think about it this way, chat. Like, Ocarina of Time had a better day-night cycle. This game came out in, like, 2020. Like, what what's this game's excuse for the day-night cycle, chat? I felt like a serious question. I've returned! You are positively brimming with magic. Angela, you have completed the trial admirably. Now... Touch the Sage Sphere. Arguably, even Majora's Mask was more fluid. You have returned the Sage Sphere back to its former glory. Altanish legend says that with this, you can unlock the powers that Master Grand Qua developed long ago class four angela i am so proud that you are my daughter mother no matter what know this you are the true heir to the throne of altana take courage in your accomplishments i will there's something I have to do. Excuse me. I think what makes it more confusing. Remember, this will always be your kingdom. And your home. Oh, I, saw, I thought they were done talking. Come back to us. Uh, we're, Angela. we're gonna make sure they stop talking. Then I'm gonna talk about it. This sage sphere, I can become class four. Thank you, immersion breaking Angela. So anyway, what I was saying is that like, it's weird because the SNES version didn't have this issue. So like, why add in a new issue that didn't exist? Like the day-night cycle existed in the SNES and it was like really beautifully done. And they just screwed it up, chat. Like it's just like mind-bogglingly terrible. Like they couldn't have just, like I don't mind the graphic popping in, but like why does it have to then reload in every single place? Like, if it reloaded in town, it would be kind of whatever, because you're changing the NPCs. But, like, in dungeons, when you're, like, actively moving, it is so stupid to make you stop moving. I'm like, just... I don't know, chat. It's kind of like, you know, they solve this in, like, the 64 versions of games where they, you know, the monsters, like, would dig into the ground and disappear if it was like a day-night cycle change. Like, th this has been solved for decades. I'm just saying, chat, I just find it very weird that this game is like reopening things that have been done already successfully in other properties, not even like obscure ones. <laughs> this has been solved a long time ago. Anyway, your bond with the true queen is granted you a new ability. Increases magic, attack and magic defense when battle starts. I don't think I care about that. Tell her we don't care about her power. I'm not equipping it. What a waste. Unless it explicitly stacks with my own... Oh, I forgot this is not it. You know, in any... Also, also in other RPGs, I would just be able to jump over that. I'm just saying. It astounds me that I have to go out this way. Ridiculous. Wouldn't mind the usage of class 4, the subsequent class use class numbers too. They... <sighs> See, that's the thing, like, they kind of do... They do in, like, one book in the library. They're like, you need to be 18 to go up to ne the next class and blah, blah, blah. Let me go see if we could get that exact book. I'm sure it's still in that library. 
and but it's like none of the other characters refer to it in game is what i'm also saying so if you're saying that too that's fine they definitely don't mention it it's like oops oh i'm in Altina, not the other place my bad we'll go back to the library when we go to duran because that's where the library is remind me I want to get the class upgrade first, so just in case I accidentally start up Durin's plot. I just want to make sure we have this out of the way. But yeah, like outside of that, like the tip boxes in the game will mention it and the statue itself will talk about like class resetting or class upgrading. But like, again, it, those are more kind of like game mechanics versus like the characters themselves. I don't think we even bothered seeing if we could click out of bounds over here. I'm not sure I really want to try for too long. I just want to see if I could save myself some time by doing this or something. Like, can I just click over this to go over here? Save me a little bit of a walk, please. Oh, I did the inverse of clipping. Unfortunate. Um... I don't think I could really do that to skip anything useful. That's unfortunate. So a quick zip up a tree or something would let me just go across the river, but if I don't find it in like a couple minutes, it's not worth the time. So I didn't find it, so we're moving on. Oh, can you imagine? Yeah, there's nothing over here to click with. Disappointing. Oh, I avoided combat. That's actually huge. Like, when sending non area tents, it's fine to have the game defined, but when I... It's here, side of names like Warlock Paladin. Yeah, exactly. Oh. oh, no. Do I really have to go the long way? Damn, is there nothing for me to zip on to get out of here? I really don't want to go here. Try like one thing. No, I can't get the height I need. Oh, he can almost make that. That is so sad. I can see there's like little parts I could clip into. I wonder if I could like maneuver them in a way that I could zip. I don't think I can. I'll try one more time. Yeah, you can see like I'm stepping on something, but it's not enough to give me another jump, sadly. We're really gonna have to go the long way. I wish I knew this clip. If this clip exists, that would have saved me a lot of time. Because the problem is I have to go, like, this way. So I can see shades of the place we were in before. Um... Okay, I actually managed to get here without getting into a fight, so I'm happy about that. Oh, can we not open a shortcut back? Interesting. Who is switching classes? Try to switch your class. Switch your class, chat. Mr. Queen. Deal damage regardless of resistant element. Oh, that's actually huge for us. Good. We only we only knew two elements anyway, chat. We should probably take this. That's a significant magic increase. Hopefully this will make your tanky enough to survive. That's my other thought process here. Just more HP so she stops dying. What's the pledge? Two ability slots. Two ability slots could be useful. I could now go get the... What's it called? The little cactus if I really want to. I'll think about it. 
forget where it even is, to be honest with you. Might be slightly further down the path, right before the boss or something. Anyway, the reason we did her first is she's got 39 points. So we could- oh, we could take her straight to limit break 3. Yeah, that's huge, actually. So anyway, this is going to be a massive damage increase. So she's already doing 35 more, and her base intelligence went up by like 50 points. On top of however many I just fed it. Limit break for 3 is in, because that's huge damage. Anything else she has that's worth learning? Damage to boss monsters increased by 30%. Ooh. Requires 50 points in strength? Yeah, that's not happening. Anything else? No. Elemental reduction. Fun and elemental reduction reduced by 20%. That would have been useful to have earlier, I guess. Are any of these other things worth it at all? Not really. I mean, I might as well go towards this one because it is magic resistance. And that seems to be the thing that murders her. Um... I just have her with HP boost, maybe. Maybe she'll not die, question mark. She went from 870 to 1054. She has constant mana regen. And MP every five seconds. What's that compared to the other one? So it's like one point slower, but it affects all allies. That one might be better for her to have then. Like the slightly less MP per second. So it's a little unfortunate that there doesn't seem to be an easy way back here without having to walk the stupid way every single time. I'm on the job. Out of curiosity. No, there's there's really nothing to clip on here. It's so unfortunate. It also feels really weird I can't jump over this log. We've jumped over taller things in the in-game universe. Man, is there really no way to zip up here? What a weird decision. Oh well. Power's down pink with the last class change, yeah. So she naturally ignores enemy resistance, so now I don't have to worry about the AI doing something stupid. <laughs> it's literally how I view that. Not even remotely hiding that fact. So yeah, so now she constantly regens the whole party. So I don't need to babysit her with walnuts. Do I need any other healing magic? Do I put a oil still? Let's get rid of the, the seed there. I don't really need that. I always go the wrong way. So let's check very briefly how they describe it in here. I think it's like... Oh, not Benevidons. So that one's the same in the SNES. Might be over here. Nope. Nope, not that. there was one on the there we go switching classes so this is the closest it talks about it so this is the only thing i think in the original that explicitly talked about class two class three i don't remember how much in detail this was here or if they added that in the retranslation that's all i wanted to point out so i'm hoping this extra hp she'll survive things but we'll see she does have one resistant thing to be sometimes immune to spells. I bet his majesty will know something about the Valor Sphere. Guess we better go ask him. Oh, 
Duran, you have come at a most opportune time. I have awaited your arrival. Oh no, it's still really weird. I agree with you. For me? But why? Is something wrong, your majesty? In these trying times, the world is in need of sword masters of merit. In order to find such persons in our kingdom, we will hold a tournament. What say you, Duran? How strong have you become in your travels? I imagine the kingdom would rejoice to see the champion of the youth division appear in this competition. Yes, sir! Um, please, I'm in. However, you no longer belong in the youth division. Duran, you will participate in the main event. <laughs> this is the chance I've been waiting for. When I got my tournament invitation, I never thought I'd be facing off against my old enemy. Hey, Duran. Looks like I'm your first opponent. Think you're tough? Huh? Do you? You got another thing coming. Duran, take this time to prepare for the tournament. When you're ready, come and speak with me again. I guess this is the first time I really bothered to look. I believe it was implied multiple times in the game that this is technically her father. I guess her eyes kind of match. You take a look at his eyes briefly. It's like the green there. When lights become such funks, I'm not really sure. The Sword Mastery Tournament will now commence. You're about to see how strong I've become firsthand. This is what training will get you. You ready, Duran? <laughs> Don't you dare lose to a creep like him. Ooh, that line delivery. You want to try that again? No, they're just going to take they're going to leave that take in there. OK. Well, time to build like a million meter off this corpse. Wow, imagine being so bad you get one XP. you have become much stronger no but i trained so hard to beat you hey duran next time you'll be begging me to go easy on you that's a promise yeah you wish <laughs> i'll fight you anytime you have progressed to the finals duran you must be prepared Come back and talk to me when you're ready. Be warned, your next opponent will... Yeah, yeah, we know. <laughs> right, chat? Like, you don't need to give me this big speech. We're in this, the warm-ups. We're good. Right, chat? That's a thanks, bro moment. The Sword Mastery Tournament Finals will now commence. We're, how are we at the finals after one match? But there's no one here. A am I meant to fight you, your majesty? That is a pretty bad no, tournament. Durant. I have a very specific opponent in mind for you for the final round of this contest. Duran's opponent for the Sword Mastery Tournament is... Loki, the Golden Knight. Loki? Uh, but that's my dad. That's impossible. My dad is dead. Duran, my son, I am here to test what sort of soldier you have become. Now, put our past behind you and fight me. What? I challenge you. Oh, we just. Dad. What? <laughs> All right. I'll defeat you in my own right. As a fellow swordsman. I know, Duran. It's a Terrace Pharma. I don't understand. Golden Knight? I accept. I guess we kind of look like our father with our armor. Begin. 
Let's see how annoying this fight is, though. I never dreamed I would have the chance to face my son. That is really unfortunate. This is thanks to the providence of the goddess of mana. The goddess of mana just screwed with people's lives all the time. Oh, you didn't give me an indicator there. That was cute. Strength of the golden knight. It's got a lot of teleports. So that reaches no matter what. Oh, well. Cute. Okay. I guess that also hits no matter what. That attack not having a tell is kind of annoying. I'm not going to lie. Considering everything else does but that, it's kind of awkward. If it's going to go full screen, I mean. If it he attacks right in front of him, it doesn't matter. I really wish I could hit him during this without risking getting struck here. I'm just gonna wait it out. Oh, well, thanks for giving me the indicator super late. When we saw he had counterattack, but I thought dodging away would be good enough, but apparently not. Yeah. Of the Golden Knight. Yeah, that attack right there is just kind of like whatever. This would probably be faster if I defense downed him, but I don't think I have it set up for that. Sadly. Did, did you see him teleport into me after I dodged? That was so rude. Okay, we'll take that. Strength of the Golden Knight. <sighs> Too early. I will come at you. Oh, you rotate the attack. Oh, that's why it was extra hard to dodge. Cute, I guess. Oh, he does have a stun state. Oh, that sucks. You teleporter. I want to master my sword. You're just being a jerk about it. <laughs> You're keeping me on my toes. It's obvious that you've trained hard. I didn't understand what strength was when I was little. All I wanted was to be like you. Now I understand. And I ain't gonna lose this fight. Okay, so I can kind of attack him. He has less openings now, I'm noticing. I tumbled the wrong way. But you know what? We tumbled through the other part, so that works. Oh, he just got his invulnerability in time. That sucks, actually. Can I just hit him here without getting hit? Kind of. Just want to see if I can tag him. There we go. Cross 
Get out of here, father. Yeah, that fight was just easier from the context of I'm not in one touch kill range. So that was more fun than her fight, for sure. Duran is the winner. Well fought, Duran. You have become the strongest sword master in the world. Dad. Fear not, my son. I cannot linger, for I am no longer of the living world. It is my fate to move on after this, our final match. And Monogonis is kind of... You have surpassed me in fighting prowess. What more could a father wish to see from his son? I have no regrets. Dad. Prince Richard, I humbly thank you for all that you have done for me. I, too, welcomed this opportunity. Think nothing of it, Loki, my friend. <laughs> Until we meet again, your highness. Until we meet again. So let me get this straight. The Monic Goddess can save Heath, Stay but she can't save him. Strong, and he only came back just to die in front of his son? Of Wendy. Are we sure the Monic Goddess is good? What better way could a man depart this world than in the arms of his son? The greatest swordsman in the land. Dad! To the winner of the tournament, Duran, we award the legendary treasure of Valsena, the Valor Sphere. I'm... I'm honored. Oh no, she took Malika thinks for good or for evil, oh no. Wait, is that? It's the quest item! <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> the class item. Right. There you go. Now, I can finally reach class four. So, yeah, Menagonis is kind of un unevenly helping our protagonist here. Adds ten percent of CS gauge for every five seconds while using a charge attack. Don't, but I don't want to use a charge attack. No, I don't like that. It makes you stationary. If the damage was like really, really high, I would consider it. Or if it was on normal, I would probably do that to one shot things. But, but if it doesn't one shot, it just leaves you super open. So I'm going to go. No, thanks. Yeah, I think Dango was semi quoting the uh, bomber man. <laughs> the bombing for good or evil. <laughs> oh, man, that was quite a line. Yeah, I think this is why in like other versions of the game after this, you fight things related to the Mana Goddess. I'm pretty sure, chat. I think they realized how ridiculous it is. Absolutely was quoting, nice. And when I'll identify all the class seeds, why not? There we go. Them just walking, like them sliding instead of walking is so weird. I just, I really, di I dislike it visually. I didn't see a way to shortcut this. Maybe I'm forgetting something from our last playthrough. I know we could shortcut it the first time. Dead Night Cycle, please. Power slide indeed. Welcome, Chris.
man, what I would give for like an easy clip here. Like, like if I could just jump on this, for example, and zip up here so I could jump up here. I don't even mind doing like one annoying jump just so I don't have to go through this whole dungeon every time. Can you imagine, chat? Like even just this would be like a huge time save for me. So sad. Anyway, let's go this way. Well, I think we got past like the only challenging part of the game, which was not getting one shot as Angela. So I think we're probably fine for the rest of it. We're getting pretty decent at dodging enemy encounters. Yeah, I didn't see anything that like unfolded this. Do you know what I mean? Because last time we could have interacted with this and it would have made it fall or rise. Just really unfortunate they made it more tedious to go to. But I do want to make sure we give uh, an upgrade to Durin, given he's our main damage dealer. Otherwise, I would have just waited. Who is switching classes? Oh, I chose Angela by accident. My bad. Oh, you want to wait? That's okay. Who is switching classes? Try to switch your class. Divine Hero, Defensive Paladin, Healing of Elish. He'll be on max when recovering, exceeding up to 30%. Oh, so maybe you're intended to use these to stop your allies from dying, overhealing. Speedy successive slash to deal massive damage to magically bound opponent. Overall stat increase. Sure, another 199. I already feel like he's not very killable. So unlike some of the other characters, I do feel like he has durability as Durin. Like, he definitely doesn't die as fast as the other characters. And that was before the class upgrade. Let's see if he gets anything interesting on the class upgrade, though. Yeah, so sadly, we're not going to put, like, 40 points in strength for Angela. It's not happening. No, thank you. So for 43 strength, I get that. Attack increases by 40% when below, when at 30% or below. That's actually insane. Is there anything else worth taking? Nope. Uh, no. Nah. I could get magic boost too if I really wanted to, but that's so far away. Let's just commit to the strength tree. So I think both of these, I think I'm just going to equip with him. So there's no reason for me to not improve my damage. Because it, it even improves himself slightly. I would have liked per power attacks to be stronger, so potentially Charlotte getting another power attack upgrade would be useful here. Um, I don't think most of these matter. Hmm. Could teach him recovery too. I don't really have anything else really worth taking. I mean, I guess technically I could give him Accumulate if I'm really bored. I just don't feel like I'm going to be at low health very often is the problem. I'll just give him Armor Break more often, maybe. I think that's probably fair. Or Angela, also our new outfit is terrible. Welcome, Chris. You missed a very annoying fight where one mess up equals insta death. And then a couple of very questionable spell hitboxes did not help that fight. I think the dark spell and specifically uh, lightning were a little a bit beyond where they showed. Yeah. It's one of those ones where it was just kind of like, if you just happen to be casting a spell, 
in the in the interval where the boss is thinking about attacking, you could just die. It's not really fun. And I don't mean get low on health, I mean just outright die. Just redo. Oh, that's right, the door is like down here. I always forget where the mayor's little place is. Charlotte, have you returned for a visit? Uh, -uh. I just wanted to ask you something, Grandpa. Please, ask away. If there is anything in my power I can do for you, Charlotte, I wish to help. Grandpa, have you heard of the Hope Sphere? Where did you hear of that? I see. Charlotte, you have learned so much of the world in the brief time I have known you. The Hope Sphere. No one has mentioned it in years. Charlotte, that treasure allowed your parents, Laran and Shayla, to overcome the laws of their peoples to unite and marry. Papa and Mama? In order to stop such tragedy from befalling another, I sealed the Hope Sphere deep within the woods of Wanderer. I remember those woods. But why are you asking about the sphere now? You cannot be thinking of using it yourself. I understand. I promised I would not deny someone their heart's desire again, lest tragedy befall us once more. However, remember what your parents sacrificed so that you might live. Treasure their gift. Don't worry. I won't blow my wife away. Once you have recovered the Hope Sphere, come back here. I will release the seal so that you may once again use it. Please, be careful and do not court danger. Left her kind of on the light path, I guess. She feels okay. I, I don't know if we'll see the class strikes, honestly. I think we're just gonna look to beat the game. Damn, I hate leaving this place so much. There we go. I don't know why they get rid of the radar. Uh, I think I could just exit, right? I think so. Eek chat. Oh, there we go. Where does it want me to go from here? Why is it not giving me the start indicator of where to go? I feel confused. Did it not want me to go in the woods? One moment. Me to go to the other woods. I forgot these weren't connected. Disregard. Sorry, I'm in a slightly different set of woods. Are you okay? You seem a little off. Does your uh, stomach hurt or something? Papa? Mama? No, I. It's nothing. Come on, let's go. There we go.
Uh, we're investigating the statue. Oh, I'm so glad I did that. Oh my gosh. Can you imagine if I walked through this? Holy, we would have been here forever. That was fortuitous, chat. Thank you, Shortcut. Is that a ball of light? Uh, that wasn't there before. Is this the Hope Sphere? Oh, that reminds me, Chad. Did you want me to do a bonus boss? I was kind of skipping it on purpose the first time we played. But technically, there's more that I haven't shown off on stream. Well, if we had the Necromancer class, this would have been real fast of a fight. Shouldn't have named it with a lot of L's and R's for Charlotte. <laughs> the whim from whim. There you go. Yeah, that seems fair. Why is she not recovering any MP? I'm confused. Didn't I set her to regen MP? Or did I or is that HP and I misread it? Because I, I specifically thought I switched it into MP for everybody. So that kind of sucks. I basically one spelled it to death. So once the magic defense is down, it's pretty good. So I think we could agree, this boss is getting kind of dumpstered. Okay. Oh, I thought it tumbled. What the? Oh, there we go. Imagine you were playing these other characters and you had all these intense 1v1s, and then Charlotte's boss is literally just an upscaled version of a common enemy. This is for chat. Yeah, it might have been HP. I'm gonna I'm gonna go change it because I wanted that to be MP. Get bonked. That was easy. That was for you, chat. I did it! I protected the precious memories of my parents. Papa, Mama, I did it. Charlotte, is that you? Charlotte, are you there? Papa? Mama? I is it really you? Charlotte, let me see you. Oh. 
Oh, oh, dear Charlotte. Papa, Mama! Dearest Charlotte, now listen. We are no longer part of this world. What you see here before you now is the part of our life force absorbed by the Hope Sphere when your mother and I used forbidden magic. Our physical bodies are no more, and we cannot linger. <laughs> it's impossible for us to hold you. Forgive us. No! It's okay! I'm not angry! I got to hear your voice. You gave me everything. So... So I just... <laughs> we understand, Charlotte. We always knew you would grow up to be the sweet, capable girl you have become. Charlotte... We love you so much. Oh... My Charlotte... I've never once regretted my decision to be with your father. We were both so lucky to have had you, and we will continue to watch over you. We are always with you. Welcome for me, oh, sweet, sweet Charlotte. We love you forever and always. Okay, when we get the class upgrade, I guess we could go see the bonus boss. Papa? Mama? Then we'll go beat the game. I won't cry anymore. Okay, let's get going. We gotta go back to Grandpa Elf and Elda and get this seal off. Parents, you actually love the kid Charlotte has been in the group. True story. Uh, yeah, I must have misread it. Unfortunate. No, that's his MP. Like, did, is she not included in all allies? Because I, I want her explicitly to get it and she didn't get it. But meanwhile, I was doing, which one was it? I don't know which one it was. The other one. Because it says 2% of MP, and I don't feel like she was restoring it at any point. I guess I'll give it to Charlotte, maybe. See if it works better that way. Wait, are you... Wait, are you seriously going to make me walk out of this dungeon? Alright, where's escape rope? <laughs> right, chat? No. Let's... let's not. I'm gonna go... I'm gonna go with a hard pass on that one. No, thank you. I'm not walking out of that dungeon. So shall I work on the speech impediment? I, th I think it's very interesting from the, her character perspective. Waves are... That she is so small compared to her parents. <sighs> Papa and Mama are watching over me. So I don't have to worry. I love what I presume is straight up Japanese on the tombstones. Nice job uh, updating that and localizing it. Let's go this way. Oh, there's Durin. What do you have to say, Durin? Yeah, yeah, whatever. Nothing of interest. 
Well, let's get the class upgrade, and that'll be the last thing we have to do before the final dungeon. It's uh, Elvish, yeah, apparently. Oh, Charlotte. Ah, I see you have returned safely. I brought the Hope Sphere with me. Good. Ah. I will remove the seal. There. Now the sphere can be utilized once more. If I had not been so adamantly against their union, your parents would have had a happier life. Grandpa, that's not true. Papa and Mama were happy. Even if everyone was against them. They had each other. Oh, thank you for that. You really are a sweet child. You are most loved, Charlotte. Please come back here anytime. I cannot wait to see you. My sweet granddaughter, Charlotte. Well, you could see her now if you sh shave slash trim those eyebrows. With this, I can reach quest four. There we go, chat. We can hit quest four. Reset MP needed for moves by 40% in battle. Um, that is better than the one I'm using currently. I might as well just use that, actually. <laughs> the game is, like, constantly trying to talk to me. I'm like, listen... Coming over here. We're doing 30%. Where's the 40% we just saw? Loving Miracle. Let's go back to Grand Uh, Grand Qua can wait. Yeah, her having cheaper moves is nice. Now I can super not care about it. So let's get her upgraded and then we'll go figure out where the bonus boss is. So in the original game, uh, if you're playing as Durin or Angela, you were able to fight a monster called the Black Rabbi, which is just a really super tough boss. I don't feel like doing it before the class upgrade, because the game back then was supposed to... It basically assumed you were power leveling, and given that we didn't really power level, we'll just use this to see how tough the boss is by taking the class upgrade. Oh, actually I don't want to go here first. So I believe it should be at the Crystal Desert. I, I, I've been reading that they added it so that it's now at everybody's bonus dungeon. So for, for us, it was Crystal Desert. For the other playthrough, it would have been like that kind of Illusion City place. But you have to revisit it, is the thing. So the first time we go there, it won't be there. But now it should be there since we... Well, we definitely beat the game, but just from the standpoint of... Once you're at this point in the story, you should be able to go back normally. I almost feel like clipping out of bounds again, and just beating the boss later. All of her superpowers. We'll see, though. So anyway, we're gonna avoid all combat, because I don't care. Our only goal is to... Too early. Reach that statue and then leave immediately. I would like to get CS. I might go back to the other place to get it. Fighting a super boss with 76% seems like a bad idea. Should be able to upgrade here. She's now the Chaos Bringer. 
When the Thomas Clares has the power of Necromancer inhibiting magic warlock, then weaken the enemies, blah blah blah. Decrease all enemy magic attack and defense when battle starts. Okay, that's big. Wham blast, manipulate dark power and all things to deal massive damage in the area attack. And she gained 123 more health. Let's see if this is good enough to survive. So it's like we're getting four or five levels worth of stats. Dango memeing all over the chat with the Bomberman quote. We need to get the exact quote in chat. That was something else. Sadly, she only has five training points. Is there anything I could do with this? I don't really care about CS boost here. Ooh. Damn, yeah, if we had more int here, we would have been fine. Oh, she actually has some really good... So Mighty 3 would have been really huge, actually. That's kind of a shame I have it split up like this. But sadly, I don't think she's going to get it in time. Let's go for... I guess Strength? Because I could probably use this on Durin. I don't really want her to spell cast focus. Like, Magic Defense Down is good, but... Actually, you know what? I'll do this for now. Let's commit, I guess. She brings it for bombs, pretty much. So let's go to that one area, refill our CS gauge, and then we'll continue onwards. Also, that reminds me. Next time we land, I'm gonna go uh, fix our skills with her. This is like the best landing spot in the game. We're just gonna get our CS gauge, not at like max, but at least not at 76%. Like, I think a minimum of everybody having one meter is required going into this fight. So we'll do some very light prep. So Angela will be near max. The other characters, if I have to, I could dodge with them. And just look at this. What a ridiculous area. Yeah, so she's at 400%. Everybody else is okay-ish. I could do oh, I could- Oh, she wasn't doing this before, so I can lower the defense now. Uh... Anything else she should have? I guess I'll try to use Mana Blessing and Defense down. So generically, I'm just doing more damage. I think we could save at the other place. So that might help. So she automatically Magic Defense downs. Now we can lower the enemy's physical defense, so things should go slightly faster no matter what. So we have to go to the extreme other end of the continent. Let's go this way. Oh, do you not let me wrap around the world, or...? Oh, you do. Okay. I wasn't entirely sure at first. Thought the fog monster was gonna get us. There's the statue, but where's the save? Oh, is there really no save at the beginning? <sighs> Annoying. I can see the thing that we have to interact with. I, I want to make sure we save so I don't have to go through that long trek. Just in case it's like, retry or go to last save and we can't beat the boss. It doesn't make sense to retry. I just need a, a place I can save. We'll go here. The boundary is red. You cannot escape the battle. Yeah, we're gonna save. We have like okay meter. Angela's fun. Well 
come. We have a ton of money that I don't need to use anymore. I don't know if it matters what time of day we fight this boss. I'll save over the save file. Alright, so let's see what the bonus boss is like. We're coming in at like level 62, 63. We might have to come back after we beat the other dungeon, more or less. So let's see, let's see how ridiculously one-shotty this boss is on hard mode. I'm imagining the boss is going to be doing at least a thousand damage, maybe more. Hopefully not like two thousand. If it does two thousand, I'm not coming back. It's emitting a strange aura. Do you investigate? Sure. Actually, before I do that. Do I have any other debuff items on me? Uh, I don't actually. That's kind of unfortunate. Yeah, this team kind of lacks like a straight up debuff, which kind of blows. That definitely makes the game harder. I do think debuffs are very strong. So I think like Hawk or like um, Reese would have been kind of crucial here. I guess we could have gone the other route with Charlotte to make sure she has debuffs. Like right now I have magic defense down, but I don't have like physical defense down. So let's see how hard this is. So we're coming in with class upgrades. We're about the same level as post game. There is a save point here. Which I feel is a trap, unless I really escape rope out of here. Well, I guess I could always escape rope out of here. This is fine then. So I'm assuming it's over here. Yeah, I can see the jars. Come on. Powerful enemy lines that the outcome of the battle will not affect the main story. You return to this enemy even if you turn back now. Proceed. Sure. Are you certain? Yes. There you go, chat. It gave the warning. There it is, chat. The almighty enemy. Oh, it absorbs. Oh, that's unfortunate. Uh, I'm dead. I knew the moment that happened, I was dead. So it halved our HP there, so that's kind of brutal. Let me move, please. Oh, so it... Oh, it's immune to light, but it's not immune to other elements. Okay, that's good. Do I only have Ice Smash? That kind of sucks. Uh, okay, I didn't realize that was going to spin all the way around. Unfortunate. So I think the way the game wants you to play, he has the ability to overheal. So I think what I could do is spike freeze, use magic up on you, and use your healing to overheal her. And all I have to do is dodge with this character. So yeah, see now he's at over health, so his odds of dying are pretty low. Oh, that actually doppelganger does a lot of damage there. Hmm. I should use more doppelganger. Oh, let's not get hit by that. Summon demon. A level. Uh, what?
Hard mode? What does hard mode mean? Endless chomp. Can I magic down you? You're resistant, which is fine, but does that apply the stat down? How did she- how did she- wait, how did she die? It was hitting the boss! Wait, honest question. Wait, how did she just die? Hello? What even- Oh, it's- is there the demon? No, the demon's not here. What? <laughs> like, he like sneezed on her and she ceased to exist. I don't understand. They were not even remotely near each other. Summon demon, I guess. Um, let's magic up her. I mean, Doppelganger is putting in the work. I might be able to chip this boss out, to be honest with you. I am not above cheesing a boss. I mean, if all it wants to do is focus me, I'm kind of okay with this. She's regenning so much MP due to her setup. Basically, a infinite MP. It's working, it's just a little slow. I want to kill him with Jam Bonk so bad, chat. You have no idea. Okay, so I dodged that manually. Let's use you to revive. So yeah, the other thing seems to be healing HP. I would agree. I saw like little M HP numbers pop up, which is not good because that said MP. So I wonder if that's a bug in the UI. Like see, I'm healing like 21 or whatever. I think that lines up with the 2%. So the ability heals 2%, even though it listed as MP. Standard mode. And it makes some free damage, at least. Uh, that's unfortunate. Thanks, AI. I love your uh, dodging skills. Oh, that sound effect, though. Boss is almost dead. I think I could do to speed this up a little. I physically can't see the boss. This is a very annoying status ailment. So she died again off screen doing something. Who knows what? Using Dark Saber. So again, he has so much health that he can't die with his ability. Everybody else is just getting one shot straight up. Her buffs don't last long enough because she's getting hit. I might be able to kill a jam bonk if I time this right. Bloodthirsty. No, it bonked me. This is bad. I was so close to the finish. Cross cut. 
I'm gonna go for Jam Bulky, but it's not gonna kill. I need to stall. It does good damage. No, he got petrified. Give, give me a second. <laughs> I can recover from this. I just need the game to chill out for a moment. That was close to a game over. They got Moogled. Can you please dodge? We're so close to winning. Need to do like a little bit of damage. Almost done. It's so close. Oh, I got clipped randomly. That sucks. Thought I tumble past. Just need like one spell to kill. Please die. There we go. Goodbye, Black Red Bite. This spell's still going off in the cutscene. It gives no rewards. Chat, chat. Okay, what does it really give us? Zero MP needed for move in battle. Okay. So it's just a cheat. So I don't need the MP reducers then. You know, honestly, that was probably a little easier than the uh, 1v1 with Angelo. Just because I had other characters to kind of mitigate holding still. I honestly thought the Angelo fight was more annoying. That was fine. I mean, it was it was like about the difficulty the game should have been probably the whole time, to be honest with you. And that and keep in mind, we also did that on hard mode. Whatever, we needed just enough HP to survive. And thanks to HP boost, she did actually live. So it did like it did like literally like a thousand twenty to her. So the 60 HP from HP boost actually mattered. So we could get rid of ignition. And I can replace that with whatever the infinite one is, Obsidian Power. Then I could get rid of her MP reducers. So she could get something for more damage. Don't think I care about the HP regen from that. Let's give her the constantly regening ability. I always forget what it's called. Conversion. Yeah, so her having infinite MP is fine. Because then she's not going to, like, freak out from the AI standpoint, which is good. So she's about as tanky as I can get her with magic res resistance and HP boost. So yeah, that was, like, the closest to having, like, a hard battle, I guess. In like a, in a good way. Like, that was probably the only boss where it was, like, there were a lot of mechanics with it. We did get stat checked a little bit, but it wasn't terrible. I was worried, as I said before, is this going to be doing like 1400 plus? And it's okay if like the bonk, the single slower bonk move does a lot of damage. That's fine. Also, we got something called the Moogle pin. What is that? Changes how I know Moogle removes the effect. There you go, chat. This is for you.
Look at him go. Become Moogle. You know, Charlotte, you didn't get the memo. We're going left and then right. She's going right and then left. She failed us, chat. I wonder if I can do this to dodge damage. Like in the old SNES version. I don't have a walking animation to just vaguely flap my wings. I can't attack for clarity. Assert Moogle dominance, apparently. Wait, can I do this? Oh, I can't do it when I'm in the form. Oh, won't let me do that. Let me uh, skip rope. I'm curious if I can Moogle and confuse the game. Should we finally not freeze to death in hometown? Pretty much. So, yeah, I mean, that was like the closest to being... So, what if I do this? I'm just looking for a place where I can use the... Yeah, I can use it here. The question. If I do this, what happens? Oh, she untransforms. Okay. I was curious if they if they just didn't think about it. I wouldn't put it past some chat. I was curious if that would soft lock the game. <laughs> just wipe for the cheeky soft lock real quick. I mean, would you be surprised if that threw a state era where a character in Boogle can't use Flammy Drum exceptions out dies? I would not have been surprised. Also, apparently that's not a guaranteed drop. I was looking up as we were looking at the XP. We got a rare drop from the boss. So congratulations, I guess. Imagine grinding that boss. You have managed to find each of your class items. With the strength of class 4, you may be able to defeat Annis the Witch. No, you must. Now that Annis has awakened, I do not know how or when she will begin sowing chaos. Do not delay. You must go to where Annis is hiding. <laughs> Who's that laughing? <laughs> that wine I mean, sense someone honing in on my presence, but I never expected you, Grand Croix. <laughs> you pitiful mortals seek to defy me. How quaint. A diversion from annihilating the planet could be enjoyable. Come, amuse me. <laughs> the time for delays is past. The fate of the world is in your hands. Please. Recover 5 MP for all eyes every 5 seconds in battle. Yeah, I think they messed up. That's the one that I really wanted. But I don't think it matters anymore. I mean, I guess it's maybe faster than the other character's ability. Because it's every 10, right? Oh no, it's 10 every second. Because I, I don't care about Durin's MP. It just literally doesn't matter at all. Here we go. Still gotta test it. I guess. There's something in the air around here. Something bad. This entrance is how we get to the witch. Going. 
minutes anyway I imagine this is going to be a very fat well fast relative to the dungeon the dungeon itself is long but it's going to be an absolute stomp i think between a character with constantly regening mp everything else i don't really need to worry about class strikes at all i do have to do that puzzle again though the jumping puzzle i don't look forward to that get anything useful weak point up might be relevant i'll raise her intelligence at least i'll humor myself by seeing what this one chest is then we'll move on oh oh that's true i could technically get new equipment from the rainbow seeds if it's a rainbow seed i'll pick it up i guess because technically i think uh angela still doesn't have the upgraded weapon so we should see a slightly different dungeon, presumably based off of the characters that we use, unless it's literally the- this oh. This must be an illusory world, made by Yannis herself. Never mind, it's the same dungeon as before. She constructs it from the memories and subconsciousness of others. What a horrible thing to do with magic! That's disappointing. I thought it would be specific per character. Yannis! I don't care if this ain't real! How dare you mess with my home! Anyway, moving on. Hopefully we get the triple XP. That would save us some time. We'll try to see what our level 4 is on each of the characters at some point. But I'm not in a rush. We have one more on the opposite side, and that should be it for this area. <laughs> see the oh dot dot dot. I'm gonna get meter here so we can see Charlotte's level 4, I guess. And then once we see everybody's level 4, I'm not gonna bother using it again. Though we're at the final boss. Whatever. Okay, time, time to use the, the bottom ability. Let's see how good it is. Wham blast chat. I don't think it's as cool looking as Jambonk. Oh. The AI got me stuck. I didn't know where to go and I died. Cute. Thanks, AI. I'm glad you wedged me in the door for some reason. Anyway, we'll see what it is in the next area. Okay, so let's see that effect fully. We sort of saw it in the Rabbite fight. It's okay. It's weird that he has so many single target ones. I don't see why I would really use that over my level 3 if I wanted more class strikes out of it, because it's more useful to class strike and have like a strong class strike. Uh, let's see what we could get there. So she maxed her in. 
So she's kind of done as a character, honestly, unless I want to just keep raising spirit in case we hit the elemental weakness. Otherwise, we need to add 40 points for tough into uh, judge. Just like not really worth it to me. I don't really want to teach her new fire spells, if that also makes sense. So let's just raise her spirit up, I guess. Maybe she'll survive elemental strikes. You just need more strength. Then we'll talk about your other abilities later. Oh, okay, so we saw the boss using this on us earlier as Angela. It's a pretty long animation, but I think Love Typhoon does something similar. Why is he not stunning? There we go. Seeds, money that I don't need. Ah, right, so we saw all the new abilities. I would just need to build meter and then just sit on it. Oh, you're a mimic. I wonder what happened for a second there. There you go. I was committing for that kill chat. Because I feel like Magic Ren did about as good as the other level 4. And this one at least AoE'd. I don't know. Why is he walking into the wall repeatedly? Good job, AI. You somehow didn't die. Guess it doesn't work outside of combat. That's fine. I was curious if I could overheal out of combat. We could touch we could technically teach him AoE heal at some point if I really wanted to. I don't think we need to though. He should just be meleeing. There we go. So Durin's basically unkillable because he's got 50% more health than other characters. The other characters are okay-ish in terms of HP. I don't mind killing this if we get another rainbow seed. Or they could just choose not to help me. Let me get hit there. Thanks, AI. Another rainbow seed. Might be worth it if we get a weapon upgrade, as I said before. We need one for Angela. What is she doing that I can't use her abilities? Oh, that reminds me, I gotta upgrade her weakness move to do more damage. I 
it's over, chat. Yeah, pretty much none of our new abilities are that useful for AoE clear. So unless I got the constantly regenerating CS, it's not as useful. Oh, I didn't even equip the thing that would technically make us do more damage. That's why I didn't bother. Never mind. Okay, last chance for a rainbow seed. Break his shield there, maybe. Or oh, just get hit randomly full screen. That's cool. Okay, so I got a beater for the bosses. Should be good. Rainbow item seed. Nice, nice. Hopefully we get something good out of this. One area down. I not be able to run from this if I remember correctly. Oh, or, or I could just skip it apparently. That also works. We'll take that, right, chat? Oh, this area is different. So maybe they just share the starting one? I don't remember doing the sewers last time. Oh, never mind. I kind of remember. We equipped the poison stuff. Disregard. I didn't recognize it right away. I remember these annoying poison patches, though. Straight for the exit. <laughs> right, chat? Bye. Another two areas cleared. We'll level in the last area a little bit. I'm more worried about their HP than our damage. Take this item. Maybe it's a seed. Nope. Ah, uh, here we go. I think the decision... We had to go right, I think, last time. We go that way... The dead end. We go that way, I go backwards. Might be... Might be this way. I think you could use an action button to use them, but I'm just jumping on them directly. Yeah, because I had to make the blind jump here. I remember complaining about this because, like, I couldn't see which way that thing jumped to make a decision on how to get through it. There we go, chat. Short-term memory won that time. Damn, I cleared that. Not falling for your little shenanigans this time, stupid maze. Now, near five barrier is gone. We'll get into a fight with these. Get a little more XP. Oh, there's more enemies spawning. Cute. Don't 
That's kind of our only major AoE clear. Oh, we didn't get an XP multiplier there. That's sad. Another free rainbow seed. Uh, Charlotte needs probably weak weak point increase. More importantly, probably what just went magic defense down in general. So at least we'll do 4% more if there's a weakness, but I don't think it'll matter on the final boss. I think the final boss has a weakness. Okay, we're getting through it at least. So yay for progress. Oh, I can't go up those stairs. Uh, let's go this way. Another opportunity to recharge CS. Oh, those don't connect that way. Never mind. We'll go the other way. <laughs> Ominous slime. No, thank you. say we're basically out of here we're like no thanks we don't really need to fight anything anymore just need to get to the end at this point check out what this item is real quick seed could be useful opens up a shortcut which you can use to heal and we can identify the items that we have so I might as well do this so we did get a new outfit which could be relevant Ooh, we got we got the weapon finally that's actually huge possibly another weapon upgrade That day-night cycle waiting for me. Alright, so this, this is actually kind of huge. Yeah, so she's doing 41 more base magic, which is good. Small defense increase. Much bigger defense increase. Okay, so her odds of survival just went through the roof. We're already using Sigmund, which is pretty good, but Triumph Blade is better. A Battle Crest, which is mostly just resistances. I guess I could give it to her to survive. So Black Umber is pretty high resist in general. Let's give it to her, actually. I'm not sure I care about poison on her or shrink. Oh, can she not wear it at all? Hmm, that's kind of unfortunate. Put it on Charlotte, then. So she's very resistant to magic attacks. Defense is high. Can you imagine, chat? Oh. If you could somehow clip out of bounds on this to get to here, how happy I would be to skip half of the dungeon. It won't let me, though. Only there was something to clip off of. So anyway, we'll proceed further for now. <clears throat> so that's kind of huge. We got uh, two weapon upgrades and decent armor for the AI. So the odds of getting one shot just decrease drastically. I'll take a couple of fights in here. I basically don't want to fight until I'm in the final area anyway. Can't 
the Altena. It has to be an illusion. Bonk. Oh, it's gonna wait this out. I think they has got this. Ooh, the bonus XP is huge there. Exactly what I wanted to have happen. So yeah, I mean, I'll just keep giving her magic resistance, I guess. In theory, I could strength up her a little bit, but she shouldn't be attacking. If Darren gets one more level, he'll get one less power boost before the boss. I think it's worth going for it. Most of my CS gauge is maxed. Be careful. This could get ugly. Leave it to me, Wookies. Bye. We're out of there, chat. No thanks. I don't know if it's really worth getting more seeds at this point. I mean, I guess I could get it for Charlotte. Or they just choose not to cast spells for some reason, so I take damage. Thanks, game. And all I needed you to do is, like, loosen feed twice and the thing dies. That's fine. Barely broke a sweat. 10 out of 10 AI there, chat. They're like, I'm at full MP with, infin with infinite usage. Why don't I melee? Heard that's helpful. Wait a minute, what? Oh, you can't just jump down. Oh. But why? This dungeon would be so short. <laughs> but it's like, it's solid. Why can't I jump down here? Game, please. Man, you really can make me go through the middle just to go downwards instead of just jumping off the railing. Unnecessary. Necessary detour. This one is so See you we'll get through this eventually. Not really much to commentate on. I just gotta get through the windy mess of platforms. It's better if I go this way. Interesting. Charlotte getting an upgrade doesn't really matter. I don't think we care about her damage very much. We, we got it on Durin and Angela, which are the only characters that would be carrying boss TPS. If Charlotte happens to get it, it's nice. But not mandatory. Yeah, let's catch up in levels a little bit here. Oh, the game got really confused. Poor game. Yeah, without getting a uh, triple XP, it's gonna be a little rough leveling. Oh, can I seriously not boost up here? another rainbow seed just in case we get something for Charlotte. Huh. 
I think I avoided most of the encounters there, which is kind of nice. Guess that works. Right, chat? Bye. I don't want to fight the robots. I don't mind fighting some enemies, but just not the robots. There we go. These things seem like a good thing to level up on because she can one shot them. So that's like the, the time spent on it is worth it. Another class reset item. Only Angela CS is bad. Charlotte's in. So again, if she does decide to use spells, they should be stronger. Otherwise, we'll just focus on spirit slash strength. Should be pretty close to the end. Wow, she one-shot him. That seemed fair. A little CS spam. Pretty fast fight. We just gotta go around the sides, I think. Perfect mayhem. Welcome, Toriel. Hope you're doing well. Thank you, Chris Grove, for resubscribing. Hopefully you're doing well. We're in the mad dash to beat the game. We're pretty close. We just gotta get through the dungeon. I'm on the don't keep me waiting. Yeah, this seems fair. So we're, we're basically just speed clearing at this point. I don't think they could do anything against our party. So, I mean, if they force me to fight, I mean, that just kind of happens. Enjoy the adventures of Eek. There we go. I think we have one more barrier we got to take out. Hate to rain and run, but you're hungry. No worries, Toriel. The PSO treats you well if you play later. Man, Lucent Beam is so overpowered. I feel like I could defeat any enemy. Ooh, triple XP. That's actually huge. That'll save me some time later. Uh, sure. Learn more spirit. Extra strength. Okay, so we're basically as strong as Duran could be versus bosses now. So, levels beyond this point are pretty much optional. Skip the treasures, we don't need them. Chad already saw what happened to the earlier enemies. I think I'm just gonna play Zangela for the rest of the run. Her ability to just one-shot those waves is kind of important. This is what happens when you get endgame gear. I mean, I think Jack will agree. This character turned around. She's just literally just one touching everything. Unless it's a demon, then it's two touching. Watch out. 
Oh, they hit me. No flawless victory. Triple XP is huge there. Can Charlotte learn the other ability finally? Oh, she needs one more level. That would also potentially be good. If we get that, that's actually worth a, a level up. So I might just try to force a couple battles here. Use doppelganger on that because it's immune to us otherwise we could get through enemy resistances we can't get through that that's a huge triple so if charlotte levels again we just do 10 percent more to the boss so i think that's probably worth trying to level other character abilities don't matter since we cap their main stats what a character chat Annihilation, right chat? Who needs other abilities when you have Lucent Beam? Spin Spin indeed. I'll take my level up at some point. Let's pop this for a class strike, which I need for the boss. Otherwise, our AI is not even capable of building meteor on these enemies. I'm killing them too quickly. Ridiculous. Wow, she cast that with such a delay, I thought I was going to get hit. We got one more chance of super equipment. So we need to do maybe three more fights? We're done leveling for the game. Might as well as build some class gauge on her. Disrespectfully. So if we tripled XP there, we would have been unleveling. Wow, what an ability. Damn, no triple XP. Where's my triple XP, right chat? We'll get there. What a ridiculous character. There it is. Now let's level people. So you're done, unless I want to give you more spirit for resistances. You could finally get this, which is huge. Let's get rid of... Probably Super Summon, honestly. Or Recovery. I don't think Recovery matters. Worst thing I have is she casts it twice. So we can stack the magic defense downs. So that way we kill even faster and in battles. So we have a pretty good late game setup with us. Durin, is there anything that's worth learning on you? Healing upgrades? <laughs> no. Uh, spirit increase. Technically, I could try to teach him the other ability. Luck isn't worth it. Stamina doesn't give us anything we care about. I mean, I guess I try to teach him healing magic plus. The worst thing that happens is he just gets more magic resist for the boss, which I don't think I care about. So we basically just got 10% free damage on all of our abilities. No more seeds. So this is more chances for Charlotte to get her final item. That way I could say that I tried briefly. Me, 
I have him breaking armor faster, which is a good AI ability. Yeah, we're just doing several thousand damage. That just completely out damages our class strikes. So she did finally get very strong, but... Oh no. Oh no, Chad, I don't remember how... Oh, I don't remember this puzzle. Oh, we're gonna be here a while. <sighs> Damn. It was like one where I almost got it in one try, but I was off by one. Is it this one that I had to go left? No. Day night cycle, please. All right, so we're at a new one, I think. Let's see if this takes me where I need to go. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, what? Oh, chat, was it middle or back? Was it middle? Oh, I didn't fall for it this time. Okay, we. F I, I got it. I got it. That was first try. I don't think I went back and revisited anything. Oh, thankfully we didn't. We never took the bottom one. I remember that much. We never had to choose down. So, okay, we skipped a lot of annoyance there. Werewolves, you are so hosed. Between the magic down from the their stats and everything else, it's kind of ridiculous. I mean, at this point, killing them is faster than escaping, almost. Just because of how strong Lucian Beam became. I mean, just look at that. It's magical, chat. Uh, sure, more more spirit, so she takes less damage. Base MP doesn't matter for her anymore. Uh, teach him more spirit. So his magic resistance is higher. I guess I'll open this chest, in case it's rainbow seed. A couple wishes I'll actually take. I wasn't paying attention to how many I had. Now we have three more. So we should be very close to the end. We're gonna unlock the last warp and then presumably we just go to the end of the game. So much damage. You can see our level ups are slowing down quite a bit. But to be fair, our kill speed is kind of out of control with Angela at the moment. What's in this? Oh, just money. We have like 219,000. We don't care about 1,000 lucre. Stupid lucre. It's not even like there's a shop I could do anything with here. Like, am I really gonna exit the dungeon for a shop? That's crazy. Eek. So we're doing our best chat. Uh, on the off chance I don't have the equipment yet. I'm gonna assume this is a rainbow seed. It is, good Good assumption. And another couple wishes, just in case I don't have a revive max. So let's see, this will be the last chance for Charlotte's equipment. So we are basically at the end of the game now. Uh. Hey, do you feel worse the further we go, or is it just... So I don't quite have max CS, but... Honestly, like, we don't need, even need CS with this party, so I think skipping to go get the CS upgrade was actually a pretty good decision for me. Hey, do you feel worse the further we go, or is it just me? Anis must be getting cold. 
love interrupting their dialogue. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna battle the Great Witch, yada yada. I wanna come back here. Let's see if we can get it, chat. Can we get an upgrade for Charlotte before the boss? We got some chances at it. Guard armor could be important, because I don't think we have all of our equipment yet for upgrades. Guard helmet, I think, is new. I don't think we have that. Ray could be important. I didn't get a weapon for her, but I think we got the armor. It's fine. Nope. We got denied Charlotte's upgrades. I mean, that, that was eight seeds. That wasn't even like a low number that we rolled on, to be honest. It's kind of unfortunate. So she's got the best of everything possible. Um... I mean, I guess I can have her with this royal beret. So the AI might live. I never found another shield, by the way. Shields suck. <laughs> Unless they have some other hidden bonus. Like, it should probably tell me if it has, like, elemental resist or whatever. Yeah, not impressed. I guess I could wear a battle crest. How bit? Well... No, let's let's get immunity to shrink. Not mess around with that. Oh, we did have a guard helmet already. Never mind. So we didn't get anything new. Small defense increase for her. So she's very tanky now, but we didn't get the juggernaut upgraded, which is really sad. I mean, it is decent-ish. We did get that from like earlier. Maybe that's good enough. Anyway, our characters now have 1100 HP. Maybe that'll matter with the new defenses. So now I can point to chat and say, hey, we gave them as much defense as possible. Come on. So let's go see if we can beat the boss as is. In theory, I could use all the elixir stuff that we have, but nah. <laughs> right, chat? Nah, we don't need that. It's fine. It's cool. We could increase their base stats, but that, that just requires menuing. We don't have time for that. If it consumed in the menu, I'd think about it. Hey, you two! Look! We'll go in without any stat downs. I don't think we'll need it. <laughs> Bold of you to come here instead of running away. Which, right? I have but one desire. Use the portal to Mavolia to destroy the world. I will ruin this realm with my own two hands. <laughs> now, behold my power. And despair at your worthlessness. Hmm. Uh. <laughs> Ride, worthless man. Honestly, she's so much faster at clearing the crystals than I am. Kind of insane. Look how much damage she's taking! Holy! She's getting dunked already! You better teleport out, I'm gonna kill you! So this... This Anne is the witch! Her power is almost on par with the god... ...of mana! Why is it the one time I went to swap out, they used Doppelganger and ruined her damage chain? Why did they do that? Why did they break my damage chain by doing that? It's so rude. 
I literally was manually controlling for like almost like two minutes solid. And the one time I don't do it, she just immediately uses the wrong spell. I think I'm actually getting trolled. Wow, this boss is just getting dumpstered. GG. <laughs> yeah, this was Anis the Witch. Holy, look at her stats. I got overhealing going. I'm tanky, chat. We're going in. I'm going to one try this. Get out of here, boss. Power me up. Oh, you bet. Oh, you have a weakness. You have weakness to light. Oh, you are so done. Chat done. Done. This boss is done. I don't care if that hits me. I'm not dodging. It's over. Oh, the damage is disgusting. <laughs> oh my gosh. She's really actually destroyed. Lucid beam chat. Get out of here. You haven't even seen me in my final form. You will regret this. AI, can you try like to not die for like five minutes? I'd appreciate it. It actually died before- I jam bonked! I jam bonked in my defense. I pressed it and I crit by accident. That was so sad. GG. have no future. Someday, <laughs> Dead already? I revived and bring chaos with me. Once she did get jam bonked. And you are long gone from this realm. I will remain biding my time. Chaos will reign someday. And we all agree. That was the most one-sided boss fight we have seen in the entire game. Holy, actually destroyed. Did we win? I almost had a flawless victory. <laughs> Not quite. As long as the goddess of mana exists, Anis will never disappear completely. But you dealt her a major blow. <laughs> I don't think she'll be coming back anytime soon. This isn't over yet. I'm worried about the mana goddess. Let's hurry back to Grand Qua and let him know what happened. <laughs> Here's what happened. She got destroyed. <laughs> it was convincing. I think I only got injured briefly swapping characters. Now, obviously, Durin died because Durin somehow died with 1800 health. I can't help him. As long as brave young souls like yourselves are willing to fight for justice, this world can yet be saved from chaos. That look in each of your eyes reminds me of a time long, long ago. Youth is the hope of this world. I believe I can rest easily with that knowledge. Ah, my young adventurers, you are the world's beacon of hope. I have faith that you will save the goddess of mana. Believe in yourself. Chat, that boss fight was so fast, I wonder if it fits in a clip. I honestly wonder if it fits in a clip. That was that was embarrassing. GG. Double save star chat. That's how convincing it was. Well, that's she gained new power. You gain new powers by defeating her when she tries to revive. That's like new game plus, whatever. Oh, Durin, how did you die with healing abilities and 1800 health? Right, chat. Just, th just think about that out loud. He had eighteen hundred health. Almost, almost, literally double my HP. Way better resistances, and his own healing ability. Still died. All right. Well, as is tradition, we're making it tradition. I'm gonna just go beat the game with our overpowered team, and then we'll officially say the playthrough is done. I mean, if you thought that boss fight was bad, chat, just wait. I didn't even have, like, I didn't even think the boss would have a weakness, to be honest with you. So, like, we could do, instead of super summon, I could do another weak point all. I mean, honestly, like, just, that was disgusting. 
I don't remember if this boss had weak points. I'm very tempted to go out of bounds to also beat the game, but we'll 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 take the intended path to beat the game. We already we went out of bounds once already. Man, Lucent Beam, probably one of the best spells in the game. We had to use Doppelganger on Black Rabbi only, otherwise. Look at this nonsense. So we had a team that actually did really well with buffing her magic damage, and it paid off. So I kind of like that we we ended up buffing Angela, and she went from like okay to good to like stupid tier on class four. Like that 35% damage jump is just kind of brutal. Oh, we need to build Gem Funk Meter. Oh no. I need Gem Funk Meter. Fine, I'll go get Little Cactus just to make sure I have Gem Funk Meter. Happy game. <laughs> right, chat? Well, fine. I'll go play, play the way they wanted me to earlier. Whatever. Where was Little Cactus? It was like up here, I think. Or was it in, like, the little tucked away place? I don't remember. I know it's here somewhere. Just where, specifically. Um, well, on the other side of that, let's go further forward. I am pretty good with- oh, there it is. Seriously. Wait, can I not boost on this? Oh. Unboostable, that's so sad. Fine. What could you oh if you could go out of bounds there, I'd be so happy. Let's get a little extra meter. So just think chat, every time the game uses holy vault and decides not to just spam Lucent Beam. Feel very sad. If this was Tails to Destiny, I would be turning off that move so fast. There we go, she did it that time. What a joke. Um. There we go, I'm banishing Little Cactus from the game, just for chat. Completed. I think it gives 200% meter. So we'll do... I might as well then equip Durin's abilities, because he doesn't matter at all. Get rid of break armor on the boss. I don't think it matters. We'll do... Uh... Wait, where's the ability? We'll smash... Oh, there it is, Cactus Soul. So it should just trigger when we enter the boss fight. Purged, indeed. No more little cactus, and at least until the next game. The chat could feel sad all over again. Sure, we'll save right here. Does this override the other save? It doesn't. Good. I was worried it would get rid of a star, to be honest with you. Um, you know what? It doesn't even matter. Is it possible to stat down this boss further? Oh, we have a Shadow Eye? Oh, the chat, no! No! It's over. <laughs> I didn't even use that on the other boss. Yada yada. So we just gotta dodge the first attack, and then I think we're home free? 
Yeah, yeah, whatever. Oh my god, it's like Cannon Rouge on Dragon. so hard i mashed it <laughs> also he didn't even get to, we didn't even break his meter he died before the jam bong that was an embarrassing final boss i think we can agree chat that was embarrassing he got absolutely destroyed lucent beam mvp gg Yeah, yeah, whatever. <laughs> I guess we'll maybe listen to this music? Oh, no, no, no. We're not listening to the dumb credits again. No, go to the actual credits. Then we'll talk over the actual credits. Decisive victory chat. Man, Lucent Beam got so strong on the final six levels. So holding all those int points... Uh, paid off big time on the class upgrade. And hey, we did the bonus boss. It didn't matter. Yeah, yeah, come on. <laughs> right, Chad? Come on, get to actual credits. Think this is real credits? So there we go, chat. An absolute devastation from Angela. What a ridiculous character. With all those other bonuses. I don't think we could have killed faster any enemy in the game, honestly. Like, that was doing as much damage as a class strike was but at like a fifth of the speed. Can you go to credits or are you just gonna give me more cutscenes? <laughs> I'm like, just go to credits. I believe in you. There we go. Anyway, let's chat over this. Free credits, the credits, the big credits, late credits, post credits, post post credits. Yeah, so that 35% damage boost mixed with I ignore enemy resistances uh, meant that she killed everything. And yeah, she didn't really need the strength upgrades for bonus boss damage, but in theory she could have been doing another 20% if we're really bored. As a reminder, Chad, I could have undone her stats in order to just give her the strength up on normal enemies as well as bosses, but not needed. We beat it without ever resetting our character class or stats. So we weren't sure about her other abilities in the light skill, and they were okay beating the game, but they were nowhere near as strong as when she class upgraded again and got another weapon. Between those two things, the damage just went from like barely 200 a bolt to like 500 plus with all that base int. So that did make a big difference. So anyway, chat. I don't really have any much anything else to say about the session. I mean, the dungeon, unfortunately, is just kind of long. It reuses assets. I don't really have anything else to say. We saw it before. Um, I guess we could talk about the individual scenes. So definitely the hardest fight in the game for me was the Angela fight in the entire playthrough. Just because of the fact that one mistake is insta-death. Even like the ninja fight and the door fight weren't that punishing, although they were hard. So yeah, I think it'll go Angela fight, door, double ninja. 
in order of difficulty, and then literally nothing else other than, like, Dark... Dark Benevidon, I guess, because it made me reset once. And even then, that's only there because the AI is, like, incompetent versus the boss being good. Yeah, that Angela fight was really annoying. I was getting one shot. I think probably the most interesting of all the post-game ones that we saw was probably the Durin fight. Because I feel like that was, like, the first time the 1v1 felt, like, properly balanced. And there were enough moves that it was interesting to dodge versus Angela's nonsense radius spells against herself. Um... Yeah, other than that, I, I definitely like that more than the uh, Ludger fight, comparatively, when we played as Kevin. I feel like the Ludger fight was just super um, underwhelming, comparatively, so I think Durin had the best 1v1 fight. Angela had the worst. Just because of the fact that, like, you need to be able to cast spells, but you don't have the luxury to do that. So you either just do, like, pitiful melee damage, or just die. There's kind of no in-between. Maybe a baby Luger secret super boss. Oh, I guess the Black Rabbi boss was kind of fun. It was fun. I don't think it was hard. It, it just stat checks you a little bit. But I feel like, you know, if all the bosses had like that many moves and generally were pretty fast at attacking like the Rabbi was, I probably would have liked the game a bit more. So I'm kind of sad that the bosses weren't at least on the par with that. And don't worry, chat. There were dozens of articles saying like he's tough even at level 80. I bet chat like how much how much do you want to bet? <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna look it up right now. We're doing it live. Black Rabbit too hard. I'm just gonna Google real quick with those terms. Trials of mana. For some reason I'm getting lies of P for some reason. One of the first things that pops up, I've confirmed the Black Rabbi cannot be defeated because of his attacks. It's one of the first comments. My attempt from the Rabbi from Hell, Black Rabbi, a long forum post talking about how they were getting bodied by it. Yeah, so anyway, it's not that hard. Like, honestly, honestly, just calling people out, it really was not that hard. Like, I, I feel like in terms of quote-unquote difficulty, any of the bosses that required, like, five or six things to be hit and spells didn't damage them, Humar could beat them, it's true. Humar could have landed the debuff, I'm just saying, the Zalora could have come out. Uh, but from that standpoint, it's just kind of like... The only difficulty of the bosses after literally the door boss and ninja boss is just how annoying was it to prevent their one-shot kill attack? That's that's literally the only difficulty. I don't feel otherwise they had like really complicated moves or like new patterns I had to respect. I killed almost every boss the same way. Let's be real. I would say the the closest to making me learn a boss would probably be the Benevidon for the Pumpkin King. That boss is annoying, but again, like, 80% of the challenge is just because AI doesn't dodge, AI can't hit the boss. Like, is, is that really quote-unquote challenge? Like, the boss took longer than the other bosses because the AI literally doesn't know how to target his weakness because it's floating up in the sky. So it's like... If anything, it just kind of highlighted to me how unbalanced the AI was against bosses, where, like, some of them, they were, like, dodge gods versus, like, Ludger, and then others, they're like, duh, big shiny red spot, let's stand in it, and then they die. Like, it, it was very all over the place, so it feels like it was partially programmed correctly, because there are some bosses where they just straight up, like, Neo Matrix dodge every attack, and sadly, Ludger was one of them. Um, and then others, they just kind of derp out. So it's kind of unfortunate. But anyway, I think some of that will save for our final review. But that's my th feeling now, reflecting on at least two of the playthroughs. So we'll go ahead and close the credits out here. We'll listen to some music. And we'll gather our thoughts for the final thoughts. Do I want to save the game again? Sure, why not? That was an embarrassment on that boss.
So 18 hours, 22 minutes is beating the beating the final boss more than once. Otherwise, we beat the game a little under 16 hours. Comparatively, the first time we did it with Kevin, we beat it in 18. So the hard mode playthrough was faster by about almost two hours. So it shows the difference of whether or not you know the class strike. And also keep in mind some of those some of those hours were us purposely trying to clip out of bounds. So not not all of it, of course, but some of it was. So we could have definitely gone much faster than that on the hard mode replay. But oh well. So anyway, uh, let's save our thoughts for final thoughts. So if you did watch to this point, YouTube, uh, thanks for watching and hopefully see you in the review.